Hello guys, Crispy, welcome back to another video. Today, my friends, I'm going to be testing the GT1030 in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 Warzone mode, which is the Battle Royale mode of this game, of course. I am running the GDDR5 version of the GT1030. If you guys have the DDR4 version, it will be basically half as fast as this one. Yeah, that version isn't very good, guys. Okay. <laughs> so this is the MSI Aero version of the card as well. It comes a little bit overclocked out of the box and it runs pretty cool and quiet. As you can see, these are the clock speeds that we're getting here under 100% GPU usage. I am running it with a Ryzen 7 3700X, 16 gigs of RAM, of course unrealistic for the GT1030, but you guys will be able to achieve the same FPS with something like a second Gen i5 or a Ryzen 3 1200 and 12 gigs of RAM. And we're gonna be playing of course at 1080p, 900p, 720p as well as 800 by 600 just like we did with the GTX 750Ti. Here are the settings that we're gonna be using throughout this video. The lowest settings, the cache, spot shadows and cache sun shadows are enabled because they do increase our FPS by a couple of FPS so they're actually beneficial here but they use a little bit more RAM than the usual so keep that in mind okay if you have like 8 gigs of RAM I think you're probably gonna stutter in this game with or without these enabled so yeah I recommend 12 gigabytes of RAM to run this game properly all right in three two one here we go my friends Jesus it is not looking good here for the GT 1030 my friends oh boy look at the textures though oh my god this looks awful 16 15 14 fps of course this is like the most demanding cutscene it's not really a gameplay right so you shouldn't really worry about that but okay uh, 20 something with the gtx 750 i i think we were close to 30 fps up here okay guys we're trying to go to that city over there which is downtown i think yes yeah looking at the fps right now it is not looking good i don't think it's gonna be playable whatsoever here at 1080p with the GTX 750 Ti, for example, we were able to get an average above 30 FPS at 1080p, but I don't think it will happen here. You know what? I'm gonna start counting the FPS once again right here because we spent too much time looking at the entire map from up there, and that's kind of unrealistic, you know, an unrealistic gameplay scenario. We're finally here in the ground. The textures are still loading, as you can probably tell right there. And guys, to no one's surprise, I think uh, 1080p is not playable whatsoever in the multiplayer for example the normal multiplayer game modes uh, in the smaller maps of course you kind of get decent FPS at 1080p like a 30 FPS average at least with a few drops here and there to like the mid 20s I would say but this is just not playable at all you're gonna be below 30 FPS most of the time sometimes you can actually get 30 plus as you can see right here but yeah if you want to play at 1080p uh, you you just have to upgrade your GPU something like an RX 570 or even 470 would be ideal for this game you'll be able to play at 1080p high settings with 60 plus FPS most of the time like 99% of the time so I definitely recommend that as an upgrade to a GT 1030 of course you'll need a beefier power supply if you don't have a good power supply uh, yeah you, you can just kiss goodbye to the RX 570, maybe upgrade to something like a GTX 1650. Yeah, I don't really recommend the 1650 anyways because it's overpriced for what it is, but yeah, I definitely strongly recommend you to just upgrade your power supply and get an RX 570. It's gonna be maybe the same price as the 1650 and of course the 570 is a bit faster as well. So we are, <laughs> we are dropping from 20 FPS over here, so... Yeah, 1080p isn't really gonna happen here with the GT1030, of course. Let's go ahead and set it to 900p. Okay, guys, here we go. 1600 by 900 is now our resolution here. Everything else is still the same, of course, as you can see. And uh, let's go. Oh my god, it's still not enough to hit 30. Of course, it's not enough to hit 30. I just remembered that the 750Ti, for example, got uh, below 30 FPS as well sometimes here at 900p. And this this is definitely not performing as well as the GTX 750Ti, so yeah guys, 900p won't really be playable as well, I think 
think you should stick to like 720p or even lower than that if you want to play this game mode here with the GT 1030 GDDR5 and if you have the DDR4 version just forget it you know just just give up upgrade your GPU because it's not gonna happen here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare even on the normal game modes you know oh my god what the heck oh <laughs> this is not a dead guy it's just a mannequin okay <laughs> Got a little bit scared to be honest. Okay, let's pick up an AR over here. Is that a guy? Yes. Two guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, we're screwed, guys. Can we just go, please? Just break this. Yes. Okay. Let's go, guys. Oh no, no. Come on, dude. <laughs> Ah, we're gonna go to the gulag here. It's probably not gonna go very well. Well, actually, we get 30 plus FPS over here, so that's not too bad. Let's see if we can do this. Can we do this? Oh my gosh, this is so messed up here with these FPS guys. Okay, okay, we did it! Yes! The gulag is ours, we're gonna go back into it once again. Oh, I think when you're dropping, it, it's so bad, guys. You should avoid dropping with the GT tent. <laughs> Just close your eyes when you're dropping, you know? Otherwise, it's gonna be really messed up. Okay, here we go. Shotgun. I don't really want a shotgun here. Uh, MG, that's not too bad. So, guys, you know what? 30 FPS on average right there. That's kind of impressive here. Of course, in the Gulag, we got a few more FPS. There's a guy over there, guys. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm just going this way now. <laughs> We're gonna do 720p in a little bit, okay? I just want to get somewhere where I'm safe, kind of. Maybe here. Yes. So, okay. 30 FPS average and the 1% lows are absolutely atrocious here at 900p. Let's go ahead and do 720p. Okay, guys, here we go. 1280 by 720, 100% render resolution, of course. Everything else still the same here on the lowest settings with those two caches enabled. What the heck? Every time I change the resolution, the game just gets brighter and brighter. It's so weird. But all right. Okay, here we go. It looks pretty now. All right, let's just start counting the FPS once again. And now we're above 30 FPS finally. Okay, this is not bad right now. We're probably gonna get our thumbnail done over here with the 720p resolution because it still looks okay. And of course, 800 by 600 is very, very bad for thumbnails, stretched out resolution and stuff. Oh boy, it's still not enough to get us above 30 FPS here at 720p, guys. So, you know what? I think the GT 1030 is kind of dying here in 2020, even in a 2019 game in the new mode Battle Royale, of course, it's not able to achieve 30 plus FPS, even at 720p lowest settings, guys. Oh my god, well, it gets a 30 plus FPS average, but this is just not playable, okay? The FPS fluctuate too much between like 25 and 30 plus, and that's just a very inconsistent experience, and I don't recommend it to any anybody okay just stay away from this game mode if you have oh boy there's a guy over there we're just gonna leave here okay i just don't want to die here i'm probably pretty sure that i'm gonna die if i pick a fight somewhere because i'm playing solo against a squad so that's very unfair as well but i just don't want to be a pain in the ass for my team you know and of course playing solos against squads with 30 something fps and even below that yeah guys this is not good 25 over here oh my gosh I'm not sure what to tell you at this point. I was really expecting 30 plus FPS here at this resolution, to be honest, after seeing the GTX 750 Ti getting like 40 something FPS on average uh, and never dropping below like 30 or 35 or whatever it was. Claymore. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, just gonna drop the Claymore here. All right. Just a random claymore. This is not good. This is not a good experience. Stay away, okay? Just stay away if you have a 1030. That's it. <laughs> so we should probably at this point just search for a place to hide ourselves in, like here, I think, and do 800 by 600, okay? So 36 FPS average, 24 FPS, 1% lows. Still not playable, in my opinion, here at 720p, okay? In a game like this, you need at least the 30 FPS, you know? 60 FPS will be very, very adequate for this type of game, but that's obviously not achievable 
achievable with the GT 1030 okay so 800 by 600 over here everything still the same obviously and now we should be able to get above 30 FPS all of the time let's go back to that like oh. Oh, am I hearing like steps or whatever? I'm not sure guys. I'm really scared right now. Okay I just don't really want to die and get into another game. <laughs> just test 800 by 600, please. Let me leave guys Let me leave. I should probably use my shields, right? We're getting decent FPS here at this resolution. This is not bad whatsoever Okay, as long as we get 30 plus FPS over here at this resolution I would say that's a win for the GT 1030. That means that you can actually play the game absolutely fine ish You know so over here is where we got like 25 FPS with the, the 720p resolution of course And now we're getting 35 so that means that we are gonna be above 30 FPS every time not sure about when you are dropping from the airplane, of course, that's a different story, but y you can't really kill people when you're dropping from the parachute, from the plane. So that's fine, even if it gets below 30 FPS there, but over here is where you definitely want to get those sweet frame rates. So it's good to see that it is running above 40 FPS on average and above 35 FPS-ish all of the time. So let's run around a little bit longer here 800 by 600 it's almost in that unplayable realm I would say it looks really bad and it just yeah with 30 plus FPS it's barely playable that's what I'm saying you can hardly spot people at the distance which is of course a very big disadvantage for a map this size and uh, the 30 FPS is not the smoothest experience in the world <laughs> so this is kind of the worst case scenario here but oh boy there's a guy over there uh, should we do this? I'm not sure if he spotted me. Probably not. Yeah, he's not shooting at me yet So okay, we're gonna go this way. Should we pick the fight here? Maybe okay should we get okay? No, we, we didn't get anybody guys we placed 21st here I managed to crack the shield out of that guy uh, if it was solos we would probably win this one, obviously, you know. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And the next one will be the GTX 1650 Super. So we got a ton of GPUs here to test in this game mode still. And as always, guys, I love you all. Bye bye